Hello everybody, my name is Tatiana Navarro and welcome to another episode of Wings Up. I'm here with a very good friend of mine and fellow teammate, Macy Tolley. Hey guys. How are you doing today, Macy? Good, thank you. Well, we had to say congratulations to Macy because she joined the 1,000 point club for the basketball team. Yes. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. How does it feel to be in this like really cool club, I guess you could say? <laughs> uh, it feels amazing, just like a goal that you put yourself at when you start playing college basketball. Right. Um, and to get there finally, it's just a, I don't know, just an accomplishment for myself and for my teammates just that have helped me out for all four years and coach, like mm -hmm. we've been working on it in the gym during the summers and everything. Just. It's just that goal that you reach, and it just feels so good. Mm -hmm. And that was like the best way to join the club too. Yeah. For the people who don't know, um, she actually had a buzzer beater three-pointer bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to join the 1,000 point club. I think it was like yeah. a, at the volleyball line almost yeah. kind of thing. So Very unique way. <laughs> yeah. Way to remember for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so before um, this game, were you kind of thinking like, this is the game that I have to kind of score? Or were you saying like, what happens happens? Or what was your mentality? Um, I was honestly just kind of focusing on the game, not so much how many points I needed to score, because I knew that was just going to mess me up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I knew I needed 17, so when I got close, I kind of started thinking, and then I knew coach was like, well, you gotta score it at home, you gotta score it at home, so. <laughs> and the best part about shooting that buzzer beater was that the team like celebrated with me after, and that was just the best part that I'll remember forever. Yeah, that was really, really yeah. fun. The four, past four years that you've been here, mm -hmm. and how many other people have joined that club for the women's team? Um, two others, Haley Freilich joined it, and Sydney Larson, since I've been here, so. Really sweet, so ever since like, was that a goal for you ever since Haley made it? Um, yeah, kind of actually. Just you know, becoming that leader of the team mm -hmm. after, and it's just kind of one of those goals goals you set for yourself to reach. Just kind of as a personal accomplishment over the years. Yeah, and so when you were shooting that crazy shot, what was in your mind? <laughs> uh, nothing actually. It just kind of I was like three seconds was actually in my mind. That's how much time was on the clock. So mm -hmm. I was just going and. Let it fly and it banked in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like you said, you've been preparing just in general for um, basketball season over the summer, training mm -hmm. with Coach Nelson and everything. Yeah. We're gonna flash back to your childhood days. <laughs> um, when did you start playing basketball? Um, probably three or four. I started going to camps when I was in kindergarten. Oh wow. Yeah, and but like I have older brother, so it's always do what the older brother does. So he's three years older than me, so. Uh, him and my dad would go out and shoot baskets all the time, so I was like tagging along all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, they um, dribbling and everything probably since I was like four, four, and then started so camps at in kindergarten. So, did you play any other sports at all actually when you were a kid, or was it just basketball? Um, I played volleyball and softball. Did you have any like specific role model role models basketball wise, whether it be like NBA or WNBA? Um, I kind of looked up to like the high school girls in our school. Mostly, um, Courtney Grimsrud, she played at SDSU from Sisseton, so I looked up to her a lot, and then, um, I don't know, not really any NBA players, I guess. Mm -hmm. what do, you, do you have an NBA team that you really cheer for, or not really? Uh, probably Timberwolves, because I'm a Minnesota person, but <laughs> not really an, an, any NBA fan, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so another accomplishment that you have achieved this past week was uh, North Star's NSAA Basketball Player of the Week. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How many times has that happened to you before? This is the first time. Awesome! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> well, um, I'm going to tell everybody how your stats were the past week that got you this award. You averaged about 23 points, 4.7 rebounds, 1.7 assists, and you were 100% in free throws, 10 out of 10. That's pretty awesome. Um, you were also 53% from the field, 23 of 43, and you drained 13 three-pointers in 23 attempts, which is 56%. So, a lot of work paid off for that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> definitely getting in the gym and staying after practice to shoot those free throws definitely helped. One more question for you. What do you want to say, this is your senior year, obviously, so what do you have to say, you know, either to your parents or to your coach? Last word for you. Um, just thank you so much for all the support. I couldn't have done it without my parents or coach. Um, especially all my coaches I've had in the past and Coach Nelson, they've helped me tremendously um, throughout the years just to make myself better and make our team better and build the program at, at PC for women's basketball is just 
and my parents for just coming to all the games they can make and all the love and support they've had for me. Awesome. Well, everybody, that was Miss Macy Tolley. Thank you so much for joining me with this little interview that I have for you. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> um, stay in tune for our next Wings Up episode coming soon. Saints down five. Inbounds pass goes for Macy Tolley. Macy from three, from three quarters court. She'll bank it home, and how about that? Macy Tolley from about 30 feet out, a running three-pointer.